Oh, that's great. Today is Tuesday, 3rd of August. I'm here with the 11th grade. Eh? We are chilling outside. It's really cold and inside our homes. It's nice and cozy. Uh, today's class number three, World of Books. This is, this is highly, 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 highly connected with the unit. Um, so I decided to implement this idea of a books. And today's class, we're going to have a, a quick superficial look at some books and some stories. Let's kick it then. Let's go. First of all, how are you feeling today? Here we go. A quick poll. Want to know how you guys feeling today? In a, on a scale of sloss. Are you guys feeling today? Mm. I'm super lost. I think I'm right now. I'm like a like a two. I'm a two two. I'm a two two two. I'm a big two. Who is feeling six? <laughs> Scary, that's scary. <laughs> you guys feeling number three? No, my goodness. I mean, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, 19 or oh, 24. Okay, so the winner is three and four. So you're kind of sleepy but content, which is good. Ah, the fifth one. Give me a Let's think. Give me a All right, let's play a short game, which is guessing so you guys with emojis you guys will be guessing the... guess the book through the emoji challenge game game game, game, game. what book is it time is running time is running what book is it a castle, a lion, a sword, and a princess, queen. What book is this? Parulas is Narnia. Oh, okay, let's see. Yeah, that's it. Morning. Let's continue with the next one. There we go. Easy, easy, busy. Yeah, absolutely. Harry Potter. I think so. Go. What about this one? 
classic story. The uh, Riding Hood. In English, yes, in English. So go to the woods. The Little Red Riding Hood. That's the name. The Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, that, that is a riding hood, which is, you know, when you see movies in the past from the Middle Ages, people who rode the horses very fast, they rode with these clothes. So that is a riding hood. It's a riding hood. A little red brain. What about this one? No idea. Ah, this is a classic, and this is a classic from from South America. You hate soup? No way. How would you? Act? Really? Do you hate soup? Oh my goodness. My file there. It's quite classic, I'd say. What about this one? Alice in Wonderland. We have a rabbit. Oh, that's it. Alice in Wonderland. About this one, well, a prince or a boy or a king, I don't know. And then we have a moon, a rose, and a fox. The little prince, people say the little prince, let's see. about this last one Hansel and Gretel Hansel and Gretel that's perfect I think yay perfecto very nice okay good okay we're gonna move a bit of a conversation all right here i am back again to ask you some questions uh Padula, what's what's or what is yeah what is the last book you read what's the last book you read uh, i can remember i think i read a book oh many time ago i think uh, oh I think, oh, <laughs> Palula, very nice. Uh, but for example, um, I'm going to skip to number three. Do you have any relatable character from a book that you think, oh, she's like me? No, Palula? Okay. Another person. Let's I don't see. think so. Ah, you have any relatable. Okay, no worries. Let's continue. Another person, maybe. 
Uh, let's see, uh, Nismol Gitas, the last book you read. What's the last book you read? Almendra, oh, okay, cute. Nice one. Kine, uh, last book you read. Thank you, Anais Mongitas. The last book you read? Um, I think it was Anarnia, yeah. Oh, Anarnia. Anarnia. Yeah, I was bored, so I... Um, read again Narnia, the first Narnia. And how was it? The one with the rings. Yeah, it was good. As good as I remember. Perfect, man. At good. least. At least. Yeah, Narnia. It seems fun. Seems fun. Yeah, it is fun. The entire saga is very interesting. I think may, I may have a look at it. What about um, yeah. Mr. Peter? Thank you, Kinex. What about you, Peter? Peter? I think Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Ooh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, which, which of them? The first one. First one. Because it was the first big book that I read. Mm, so that is the philosophical stone. The philosopher's stone. I yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Uh, my favorite, I think, is uh, the Goblet of Fire. Um, and uh, the Phoenix Order, I think, also. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, let me ask another person. Flo, thanks, Peter. Flo, what's the last book you read? I think Hope, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Yes. Oh, I have no idea about that. Is it good? Yes. It is about uh, a little girl that was kidnapped mm -hmm. by her uncle. No, by her aunt. Yeah. Because uh, her dad uh, was an alcoholic, but she, but uh, her whole life thought that her mom mm -hmm. uh, was her mom, but it wasn't, was her aunt. What? Okay. Yes. It's complicated, Damn. but it's a good book. I think it's really complicated. She, had, she was kidnapped at age of three. Mm -hmm. And she had uh, two neighbors. And uh, uh, that were his friends, so they never stopped looking out for her. Ooh. So they found her when she was 18. And tell her all the story. And all the story. About her life, yes. What was the name of a book? Of a book? Um, Hopeless. Hopeless. That's a good name for a book. That's a good name for a book. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hopeless. Is it? So wait, is it in Spanish or English? Uh, I have the, the two copies. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah, reading in English is, is another experience. First, I read it in English, and then I read it in Spanish. That's, that's, that's great. That's great. English and Spanish. I think, um, yeah. I don't know any new books in English that I would like to read. I think I'm pretty lazy now. I think I need to start a new book. Uh, uh, 
Next question. Let's go with Javi, teacher Navarrete. Do you have any two books that mark you, two books that are important for you? Do you know, or do you remember two books that have been your, or, or, or just one book that's been your super favorite? I need you and I miss you. Oh, that's a good name. I need you and I miss you. That's a really good name for book, honestly. I need you and miss you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, let me ask now, uh, Jonas. Do you have any book, like a book that has marked you? Gerardo, Jonas? Any book that has and marked teacher, you? I am not very about reading books, but I... Almost all the books I have read are about the uh, books in the school says to read for a test. Okay. So what are you watching? <laughs> okay, so you, what you're saying is um, you're not really into books. And something like that, yeah. Mm, you're not really into books. So the books you read usually are the ones from school. Okay, perfect. Yeah, absolutely res respectable. Uh, some people like reading, like for pleasure, and some people don't like reading for pleasure. And that's perfect. All right, let's continue with another person. Okay. Um, let's go now, another person. Um, looking at Palulas, was the last book. I mean, do you have any super favorite book? I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't hear you. My favorite book, you said? Yeah, like a, yeah, your favorite book. A book that you liked a lot. Palula. Ah, uh, teacher, I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, no worries, no worries. Absolutely fine. Peter, how are you, Peter? I don't think I have one. I don't think you have one. Mm. Well, that's perfect. No worries. And Valentina? Um, I think my favorite book is La Mortajada. I think. Oh. Oh. That's a, good, that's a great book. Yeah, I remember that one. I like it. Yeah, good book. Good book. Nice one, nicely done. All right. And uh, guys, do you have any character that you relate with? Do you have any character that you relate with? Any book character? Little Prince is such a simple book, but meaningful. Yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is. Do you have any character that you relate with? Okay, for example, which one I like? I like Frodo from The Lord of the Rings. I like him a lot. And Sam also. Yeah, people, I'm moving to this way now. I have here an extract. I really don't know. It 
sometimes it's good to find a, like a character that you can not relate 100%, but some things, uh, the way of thinking of the character sometimes represents you. Okay, what, we, what I have here is an extract of something. It's from a book. I'm going to read it, and you're going to guess which book is it. I worked hard and harder now, and I slept only for a short time each night. When I did not eat much food, I wrote to my family less often. But they loved me, and they did not stop, and they did not stop writing to me. They said they understood how busy it was. They did not want me to stop work, to write or see them. They would visit, uh, they would wait until I had more time. They hoped to see me very soon. The professors realized that I was doing very important work. So they gave me my own laboratory. It was a small flat above the laboratory where I lived. And sometimes I stayed inside the building for a week and did not go out. Above the laboratory, I built a very tall mast. It was 150 meters high and higher than any, and higher than the tallest building in the city. The mast could catch lightning and could send the electricity down to my machine in the laboratory. I had never forgotten the lightning that had destroyed the tree. There had been so much power and electricity of that lightning. I believe I could use electricity to give life to things that were dead. I will say no more than that. The secret of my machine must die with me. I was a very clever scientist, but I did not realize what a terrible mistake I was, mess I was making. Okay, what book is it? Benjamin Kinney says Frankenstein. Flo says Frankenstein. 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 Ah. And that's correct. Hey, you guys, I want to ask you now, what do you know about this book? What do you know about Frankenstein? Like general things or specific things? Tell me. What little things you know about it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What books do you know about it? It's a very old book. It's an old book. Thanks. Okay, what else? Right. It's an old book, yeah. What else? What else you know about it? The plot is about a crazy scientist who wanted to bring something to life. So he created a monster with many human parts and used lightning to revive it, I think. Creates a monster, yeah, that's true. Kine, nice. Uh, Mary, I think Mary Shelley wrote it. Perfect. It was written by a woman, I uh, agree. Written by a woman. Yeah, great. Very nice. And yeah, what else? Anything else? What, what genre is this book from? What genre is it? Horror. Yeah, it's a horror book. Yeah. It's a horror book or horror genre. That's it. Mm -hmm. What what code, uh, Flo? I can't remember the code. There's something at my, there's something at work in my soul. People in town, people uh, in town wanted to kill a monster. 
the scientist was scared of him. There is something. Ah, that's a good quote. There's something at work in my soul. I mean, it's not literal, of course. I mean, it's not that this person was thinking about. Basically, what it means is that his soul was really troubled and um, all the things he was doing uh, because of curiosity um, was his way of working uh, his way through the truth. Through the truth of it, yes. The other part too. Ah, I don't know the other part. Don't know the other part. Hey, so, my dear babies, what about what about? I have this. Um, I have this surprise. We are going to read a book in English in the unit. What are your thoughts on it? What do you think? That we are going to write a book in English. We are going to read a book in English, and the book we're gonna read is Frankenstein. Hell yeah, hell, hell yeah. We're gonna read Frankenstein in English, adapted for students. So in this test, I mean this unit, remember that we are going to have only two units and in this test i'm going to include parts of the book as well so uh we're going to be reading this book um off classes of classes and in classes we are we're going to be commenting the book okay talking about the book a lot uh, and i'm going to upload the book now uh during the afternoon i'm going to put the book for you to your disposition and i'm going to put uh, the weeks and the chapters that you need to read. It's a very easy reading book. It's not difficult. and It would be a good idea to expand your vocabulary and also have fun because the book is really interesting. So, people, having given having giving those news to you, my work is finished. We are going to read a book in English, which is, which is awesome. We're going to read one this semester, and next year we're going to read two more books. Isn't that great? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, this one I chose by myself, but the other two books that will come afterwards, uh, I'm going to give you some options and you can choose them. All right. Happy Tuesday. Enjoy your day. And thanks for the comments. Uh, I think we're going to really enjoy reading a book. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Okay, people. Any questions? Anything? We have to read the entire book. We're going to read the entire book, but each week we're going to read chapters. Okay. So, for example, from chapter one to chapter five uh, in a specific week, and the other week from chapter five to 10, just like that. Okay. 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 It's going to be simple. Don't worry. And the book is really easy to read. All right, people. Pleasure. I'll see you in the afternoon. <laughs> see you, teacher.